Police are on the hunt for the suspect. We'll, of course, bring you the very latest information as it comes in on ABC4.com. Thanks for joining us this Thursday evening. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm John Dupree. Still understaffed. That's the status tonight of the University of Utah Police Department. It has been four months, two weeks, and three days since the murder of students of a student on campus, Lauren McCluskey, and the same week her father makes an emotional plea at the state capitol for new campus safety laws. University PD's ranks shrink with the unexplained departure of the detective in charge of McCluskey's case. Here's an update. Campus safety and security has been a top priority. That's the headline tonight from the University of Utah in response to ABC 4's questions about campus safety. What we want to make sure is if, if people have an issue with our housing or with police or really anything on the university campus, that they're getting a timely and appropriate response. A new website called Safe U, designed to give students, staff, and faculty a ready reference on what to do in case of emergency. It also tracks the university's progress on the 30 recommendations to make the schools safer. That list, the results of an investigation into Lauren McCluskey's death. More than four months later, the question. Is any of the 30 suggestions fully implemented as we stand here today? Uh, I would say about 80% of them are completely implemented. A glaring deficiency, boots on the ground. Despite the mandate to increase the size of the police department, U of UPD staffing is thinner than what it was before Lauren was killed. They'll shuffle work around to other officers. I know they're in the process of replacing the detective position. They've got a few other positions as well. So uh, it, it, right now the challenge is finding uh, police officers out there, but I know this is our top priority and getting fully staffed. University officials give us no timeline by which the departed detective will be replaced, the officers will be hired, or the crisis intervention specialist will join the U of U police force. Also tonight, an Ogden man is slapped with felony charges for allegedly trying to lure and seduce someone he thought was a 13-year-old. Court documents say in February, 31-year-old Dylan Allred reached out over social media asking to meet up to engage in sex acts. But the person he thought was a 13-year-old was actually an undercover detective with the FBI Child Exploitation Task Force. When Allred showed up to the predetermined location, officers arrested him. Allred is the son of well-known radio DJ Bill Allred. According to his personal Facebook page, he's also an employee of that radio station. A bill that has sparked a lot of controversy in Utah moves forward on Capitol Hill. We're talking about House Bill 136, which would ban abortions after 18 weeks. It passed out of Senate committee. Today. After listening to several emotional testimonies, that committee passed the bill on to its next step. ABC4's Brittany Johnson has